My name is Teresa del Taco, and you are in grande danger. Tired of Taco Bell? When it comes to Mexican fast food, there are other options. Bounce on over to Del Taco. This Mexican-style chain has been thriving in California since the 70s. To maximize your Del Taco experience, take a look at some of the secrets from this list. You won't regret it. So let's unwrap the top 10 untold truths of Del Taco. Taco Dial Supreme. The founder of Del Taco still works there. Are you still working here? No, no, no. One of the founders of Del Taco believes so much in his brand that to this day, he still works there. Ed Hackbarth, along with David Jameson, created the now popular chain back in 1964. The first location was open in Yermo, California, and as of January 2018, they have 564 locations across the United States. More are coming, so clearly this company is thriving. The founders don't really need to work anymore, but tell that to Hackbarth, who continues to be front and center at the Barstow locations. We don't know how many days a week he puts in, but the fact that he shows up at all is amazing. Your brand is only as strong as you believe in it, so at his old age, this man is showing some real dedication. Really, what else can you do when you don't really have to work and you don't want to be bored at home? It's good that Hackbarth has this option. Good for him. We're always working hard to deliver just for you. So if you haven't joined the Babbel Top family yet, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to join our notification squad. Welcome to the family, son. Welcome to the family. Bold is an important word at Del Taco. That's a bold statement. When entering a Del Taco location on an extremely empty stomach, keep in mind that you can basically get all you can eat. If you're starving, just ask the helpful cashier to bold your meal. What does bold mean at Del Taco? It's basically like upsizing. You get fries and more secret sauce rolled into whatever you already ordered. So let's break this down for everyone. This means that you will get fries wrapped up in your taco or burrito, which honestly sounds crazy delicious. To us, it seems like going bold is the only way to go. Who doesn't want a meal that has everything wrapped in it and can be eaten with one hand? We don't know of many places that offer something like this, and we have to admit it's making us want to travel to California just to get some Del Taco. That being said, we have focused so much on the tacos. Del Taco also sells burgers and shakes, and you can go bold with those two options as well. Yep, you heard that right. Fries on your burger or stuffed into your your shake. We have been dipping our fries in our shake for years, so this is coming off as an extreme delight for us. Wow, I'm so happy I could die. Del Taco have a real dollar menu. You got any soda? One dollar. Almost every fast food place claims they have a dollar menu, and cool, that's their right. However, we all know that not every dollar menu is created equally. Some of the best dollar menus we've seen are McDonald's and Taco Bell. We are ashamed to admit that we have been sleeping on the Del Taco's dollar menu. They apparently have the lowest starting price point in the fast food industry, starting at 59 cents. It's been reported that you can order all 16 items on the dollar menu for $15. That sounds like something that would make someone really happy. Well, happy or left with a hurt stomach for eating 16 items in one sitting. They have a bean and cheese cup, yum, chili cheese nachos, grilled chicken taco, double beef taco, and of course, a regular taco. Truly, the entire Del Taco menu seems endless. We don't even know how many items are actually on there, including specialty items and limited time offers. It's a wonder this company isn't more expanded. They seem to have so much to offer. You're a queen. You've got so much to offer. Del Taco bought out their competitors. No, I buy you out, you don't buy me out. Del Taco doesn't play when it comes to their franchise. One of their employees thought it was a great idea to be a snake, so they basically cut the head off. They already had too much competition with Taco Bell popping up everywhere. So when a former Del Taco employee decided to basically create the same restaurant with a new name, Del Taco owners were not having it. The hopeful fast food chain was called Noggles, and it opened in 1970 in Riverside. We aren't sure what happened exactly, but Del Taco owners approached the owner of Noggles 
Noggles and basically said, we want to buy you out. So in 1988, Noggles merged with Del Taco and basically disappeared. It took a few years, but by 1995, Noggles ceased to exist. All of a sudden, all the Noggles locations were now Del Taco locations. But in 2009, Noggles decided they wanted to make a comeback. A new owner named Christian Zybarth opened a location in Fountain Valley, California. It became a permanent location in 2015. They now have two locations in California, and we are sure they are planning for more. The owners of Del Taco must have released them from their contract once they realized that they had enough locations to survive and no longer needed to hold them hostage. Oh hell, let's just do what we always do, hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. All Del Taco cheese is hand grated. You could grate cheese on those abs. Cheese is a staple on any traditional taco, so it's only natural that Del Taco would treat their cheese like gold. The gold calls to us. <laughs> By gold, we mean that to this day, they grate their cheese all by themselves. Yeah, all that cheese you're tasting and your yummy Del Taco items was grated that day. Freshness is the key to making things taste amazing. It was reported that every year, Del Taco grates more than 9 million 40 pound blocks of cheddar cheese. To put things into perspective, one person realized that that much cheese weighs three times the weight of the Titanic. So think about that while you're thoroughly enjoying your menu items. It sounds like Del Taco is trying to keep things as fresh as possible. They apparently slice fresh avocados, equaling up to over a million avocados a year. No wonder their stuff has rivaled Taco Bell for so long. The company is so up on their social media that they know what to advertise and what not to advertise. They have shared videos of fresh cheese being grated and avocados being cut up. Now, unless this is all a ruse, we have to say that we are 100% loving how into freshness Del Taco is. Is it fresh? Oh, it's so fresh. The Stoner Burrito from Del Taco. Can I take your order? Uh... Now that Canada has legalized cannabis, we have to assume that Del Taco is planning on making its way over there. They have a stoner burrito. Where else would they go? This burrito is actually an item on the secret menu, but if you're savvy enough and in the know, you too can try it. It's a half pound bean and cheese burrito behemoth with red sauce, special sauce, and crinkle cut fries. <gasps> That does sound like a stoner's dream. Again, fries wrapped into anything is basically genius, although they must be a good quality fry, and it sounds like Del Taco's crinkle cut fries are it. We wonder if you can add more to it, like ground meat and queso cheese. This burrito is one of the best kept secrets at Del Taco, and yet it is quite popular. What does this mean? Maybe that we have a bunch of stoners in the world, more than anyone realized. If that sounds like too much food for you, then have no fear. There are so many other smaller items to choose from, including a mini cheese quesadilla. The invention of the stoner burrito is making us wonder if Taco Bell has anything like that, and if so, uh, can we taste it ASAP? After all, you don't have to be a stoner to eat like one, right? I get the munchies. Zorro sued Del Taco. Do you surrender? When Del Taco first opened up, they came out full force, including a mascot. Their mascot looked like Zorro and acted like Zorro, only he was kind of clumsy and was giving away tacos. He also had a costume that was quite similar to Zorro's cape and mask. So, of course, the creators of the Zorro character were not impressed. Del Taco was ultimately sued for ripping off the character of Zorro and settled for an undisclosed amount. That being said, Del Taco put a lot of effort into their mascot, including a commercial that told the story of the legend of Del Taco. A masked man handing out free tacos to villagers who looked to be poor and hungry. He is ultimately challenged by a group of nasty cowboys who have overrun the village. They shoot his sword out of his hand, but he has something else to defeat them. An arsenal of Del Scorcho sauce. He holds a taco in one hand and rips open a package of the sauce in the other hand. One drop of the sauce hits the floor and the cowboys run away. The character is wacky and goofy. He seems to have two left feet and he's more worried about eating tacos than anything else. We can see why the creators of Zorro would want to sue. I'm going to sue the pants off you. Beyond Meat, partnership with Del Taco. Your carne asada isn't even beef. Carne asada is beef?
Del Taco is always trying to stay ahead of the game, especially since they have such a huge competition in Taco Bell. So their next venture is sure to make a lot of people happy. They partnered with Beyond Meat to be able to accommodate vegans and vegetarians. The announcement was made in September 2018, and since then they have been moving quickly to put things into place. Unfortunately, the partnership isn't across the franchise. It's only available at two of its Los Angeles locations. The locations are in Santa Monica on Wilshire Boulevard and Culver City on Robertson Boulevard. You have the option of ordering Beyond Meat's Vegan Crumble in a regular taco, an avocado taco, or by swapping out protein for the meat substitute in any of Del Taco's menu items. Of course, this is for an additional charge. In case you don't know what Beyond Meat is, they create some of the tastiest vegan fake meat we have ever eaten. It tastes and looks just like real meat. They are so good at what they do that even A&W paired with them for a veggie burger. Word spread and the burger sold out so fast that people had to wait weeks before it came back in stock. They're out. They're sold out. That um. means there's no more. Del Taco, we're ahead of the drive through game. We're way ahead of the game. <laughs> Everyone associates McDonald's with the drive through craze. But what most people don't know is that Del Taco had the drive through game locked before McDonald's did, meaning they have basically mastered it. They have one of the fastest, most accurate drive throughs of all the fast food restaurant chains. Keep in mind, they are considered a small restaurant chain, not even having a fraction of the locations that Taco Bell, Wendy's, or McDonald's has. Del Taco actually had their drive through intact and ready to go a whole 10 years before McDonald's. So really no one should be surprised that they have one-upped Mickey D's for the best drive through Their drive through window is open 24 hours a day, and they even have a hashtag for it. Hashtag never too late for Dell is making the rounds on Twitter and Instagram. Obviously, now a lot of fast food restaurants are open late or 24 hours because they have to keep up with the competition. However, Del Taco might actually be the only Mexican fast food joint that has a 24-hour drive through window. Just because you're a 24-hour drive through doesn't mean everyone else has to be. Get Del Taco hot sauce delivered. I'm no one's messenger boy. All right. I'm a delivery boy. You too can make Del Taco's hot sauces a staple in your home. The brand has three different types of hot sauces, Inferno, Scorcho, and Mild. Apparently, word on the street is that they're better than Taco Bell sauces. So why not have them on hand for basically every meal? You also get a bucket to store your hot sauce of choice in. You don't want to look like a crazy person having drawers full of hot sauce packets. Some people may actually think you stole all that hot sauce from your local Del Taco. Del Taco isn't the only company to allow loyal food lovers to purchase bulk packages of their sauce, or to be able to consume their sauces outside of a restaurant setting. McDonald's recently made their popular sauces, Big Mac sauce, McChicken sauce, and Tartar sauce available to purchase in stores. This concept is catching on, and Del Taco is in great company. Good idea, oh lord. Of course it's a good idea. So now that you know all this about this gem of a taco joint, don't race off to the drive through just yet. We've got way more for you to watch, so click on another one of our great videos videos. Want to become an official Babble Topper? Find out more by clicking on the join link in the description below.